Well, I'm John Torrey. I'm running for mayor. I'm a husband. I'm a father of four. I'm a grandfather of four and counting, but uh, no more coming at the moment. Uh, I have had a wonderful career in which I've been uh, lucky enough to be uh, a lawyer, uh, to be a broadcaster, to, in no particular order, to be a sports league commissioner at the CFL, to be a business executive, uh, and a politician. And so it's, it's allowed me, and I, I suppose more than anything else, a community servant. I've done lots in the community to help uh, other people, and that's, I've learned the most from that. I'm running because I really believe if you want to get the city government working for people and get things done, you want to have a functional city hall, that I'm going to be able to work with others, work with the city councillors, work with the other governments to get things done for people to produce that livable, affordable city I talk about. Livable, getting transit built. Affordable meaning keeping taxes down, finding the waste in government. And I just think the skills and experience I referred to in my career, plus my willingness and ability to work with other people, including the city councillors, uh, will produce a functional city hall for the first time in quite a long time speed up the process of building more transit because I just think we absolutely have to get the city moving. I would address in the shorter term traffic congestion matters that I think are hugely important and I would get at the process of, of finding uh, waste in government and, and keeping the taxes low. All of that placed within the context of getting along better, making the city government function better. I talk about livable, affordable, functional. Well the functional part is key. You've got to get along with the city councillors, got to get along with the other governments. I think that uh, I'm, a, I'm a fiscal conservative and I will be a person who both knows how to and is really truly committed, my track record would indicate this, to keeping taxes low, to finding inefficiency in government and I think that distinguishes me from Ms. Chow. I have other points of distinction from her, I mean I would build the Scarborough subway, she won't. I would get on with the Young Street Relief Line, she's uncertain about that. Uh, I would move to save millions of dollars and give better service by uh, contracting out garbage service in the east part of Toronto, she won't. So there are points of distinction there and I'll be a mayor people can be proud of. I'll be a mayor that will respect taxpayers and that taxpayers can respect. I believe when people really take a look at this, they're going to look at the fact I've put out a code of conduct as to how I'm going to conduct myself in office as mayor. I want them to be a mayor that, that citizens can be proud of, that the world can look at Toronto's mayor and say that's a person we can relate to in terms of the way they conduct themselves good for our reputation. And I think in the end, uh, you know, people will focus on all the publicity that we see uh, for Mr. Ford himself as not being a good thing. It's more of the same. And I'm pledging something very different. I'm going to get that livable, affordable, functional city and do it in a way that people can be proud of.